Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Happy May 23rd. Hello, everybody. I'm Michelle Thomas, a medical intuitive energy healer, psychic, and transformational coach with Radiant Living and RadiantLivingHLC.com. And we're here for our week ahead forecast. So I hope you had a fantastic weekend, whatever it was that you were doing. I spent a lot of my weekend covering and uncovering all of my plants because we had a snowstorm. We got about eight inches here in Denver. It's all gone now, thankfully, um, and it's going to be a nice week. But yeah, that's how I spent my weekend. So I hope you had a beautiful weekend no matter what you were doing. So let's get into it. What is the energy that we have surrounding us this week? It's intuition and downloads, intuition and downloads. So what that means is time. Again, if you are not practicing meditation regularly or listening to your intuition, and remember, meditation doesn't need to be an hour-long process. It can be five minutes before you wake up, um, asking for clarity, for guidance, whatever it is that you need help with. Um, it can be sitting quietly with breath, right? It can be even in your shower, right? And focusing on like allowing the shower to just wash away your worries, your concerns, any negative energy that might be clinging to your aura, all of those things. But it's time, right? Because the universe has messages for you. Your spirit guides have messages for you. They're trying to lead you down the path of least resistance, if you will, um, for the most part. And so if you can listen to them and follow the breadcrumbs that they're giving you, um, you'll get there way faster and probably more enjoyable, to be quite honest. So what are some obstacles that we have for us this week? It's holy love. Okay, so here's the thing, right? One, you need to tune into your heart center and believe and trust that you are lovable and that you're worthy of not just the love, but like kindness and compassion and uh, the beautiful blessings that exist all around us. Um, not only that, um, but because of Mercury retrograde, like stop being so hard on yourself. If you make a mistake, if things don't go wrong or things go wrong, um, you know, give yourself a little grace. Forgive yourself for making that mistake or help give, you know, have some patience with some other people as well, right? But it's really about a little bit more opening up that heart space, allowing not only the giving of love, but the receiving of love in all forms to come into your life. Like, don't be so hard on you and other people right now. Uh, so what are some actions we can take? Um, inner child, inner child healing, inner child healing. Okay. Like I said, Mercury retrograde is a great time to tune in, right? And figure out maybe some of the stuff that you need to let go of, right? And maybe it's time for your inner child to have a voice and explain to you all the things that it needs from you. Um, and funny enough, I have my Heal Yourself Challenge happening in about a month. Um, it's going to be five days of amazing healing and transformation. And one of the days is all about inner child healing. So you might want to tune into the end of this and I'll give you the link. But uh, inner child healing. So focus on, do some meditations, um, write your inner child a love letter, like get all of the things out, like all the trauma, all of the patterns of belief and behaviors that you've kind of been carrying around with you that aren't serving you anymore. It's time to let that shit go. Um, so lastly, what is spirit's guidance for us this week? Self-acceptance. <laughs> hey, again, you got to love yourself exactly as you are. We're all on a journey, right? Many of us are trying to improve ourselves in a lot of different ways, right? But you need to still love and accept yourself exactly as you are, right? Because you know what matters? The soul, that which lives within us, right? Our exterior, this beautiful human body that we walk around in is just a container for our soul. And while we need to make sure that we are maintaining it and we're staying healthy, um, but it's still, it's just a container, our soul, right? That beautiful inner being that lives within all of us. Um, that is what really matters. And by accepting that piece, it allows you to kind of accept the external piece as well. So, um, so that is our week ahead forecast. Like I said, a lot of healing, a lot of sort of tuning in, a lot of focusing on yourself this week. Okay. Um, that being said, uh, again, my Who Yourself Challenge is happening. June 20th through the 24th. If you want to get in on inner child healing, you want to learn about how to heal your feminine wounds and how to balance out your masculine and feminine energy sides, um, as well as clear some money blocks, learn some tips about manifesting, hop into my free You Can Heal Yourself Challenge. 
Um, the Heal Yourself Challenge five days starts June 20th through the 24th. Um, it's free. It's free, everybody. You can hop in. Um, it's going to be, I, I teach you things. We do healing meditations. Um, it, it's just a really great week. It's one of my favorite things to do every year. And this is the only time I'm doing it this year. So if you want to know more information, go to my website, radiantlivinghlc.com forward slash HYC. So I hope you have a fabulous week ahead. I will see you guys all soon. Um, and hopefully I'll see you guys all tomorrow and t- Tuesday in my free You Can Heal Yourself Facebook group. Um, and I will see you then. But have a fantastic week. Remember, tune in, take care of yourself, be patient, have a little grace. Uh, and and I, uh, I love you and I'll see you all soon. Have a good one. Bye, everybody. Mm-hmm.